Located on the shores of Lake Superior, surrounded by the natural beauty of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, is an educational experience unlike any other. Northern Michigan University has been fueling students' quest for knowledge and adventure since 1899. This university is much more than beautiful scenery and exhilarating experiences. With over 180 degree programs spanning from one-year certificates to a doctorate, our 7,200 students find a perfect fit for their passions. And with degrees from 46 of the 50 fastest growing jobs, graduates go on to their dream careers. Our beautiful campus features 50 facilities, including state-of-the-art laboratories and the largest wooden dome in the world, the Superior Dome, home to Wildcat football and community events. Our Central Academic Mall features Jamrich Hall, with 24 classrooms designed for collaborative learning. Here, students meet the future in programs like data science in the math and computer science department. They work with investigators to solve actual cold cases in criminal justice. They pursue equity and empathy in social work and discover the many forms of diversity and humanity in sociology and anthropology. They may even work on the first draft of the next great American novel with their English professor. Jamrich also has a 500-seat lecture hall that doubles as a venue for visits from famous performers. Students enjoy sunny study spaces and a Starbucks. The academic mall is lined by Hardin Hall and the Olson Library, with resources for research. The Science Building in Weston Hall feature cutting-edge laboratories and technologies for programs like chemistry, biology, and psychology. In health fields like nursing and clinical sciences, students get hands-on experience and even conduct real-life research on cancer cells in the Upper Michigan Brain Tumor Center. The arts at NMU are amazing and expanding. The School of Art and Design in the DeVos Art Museum building offers 10 creative concentrations, from digital cinema to furniture design, and an interdisciplinary degree with the College of Business and Social Media Design Management. Students produce and star in Broadway quality shows in NMU's theater and dance program and at the Forrest Roberts Theater. Our seven theater arts degrees prepare students for careers on the stage and in crucial roles behind the scenes in the entertainment industry. Northern Michigan University is located on the ancestral homelands of the Anishinaabe Three Fires Confederacy. The NMU Center for Native American Studies in Whitman Hall celebrates the heritage of this land and those who first called it home and explores contemporary and historic issues facing indigenous peoples. Whitman Hall also houses the School of Education, where future teachers, leaders, and public servants learn the skills to uplift communities throughout the world. Nearby is the spacious Northern Center, which houses brand new spaces for the cosmetology and hospitality management programs, as well as the Upper Peninsula Cybersecurity Institute. A little north of Central Campus is our Career Technology and Engineering Facility, undergoing extensive expansion and renovation, set to reopen this fall. Ten trades programs, from renewable energies to welding, lead to careers in high-demand, high-paying fields. In the Indoor Agriculture program, students learn to grow food and plants in any environment, such as inside a shipping container, to meet the challenges of climate change and world food shortages. Wildcat Wellbeing is an important ongoing initiative at Northern Michigan University. A new integrated health and wellness center on campus is being constructed to provide a central yet confidential location for medical and mental health services for all students. That too will open this fall. Students also find a strong support system in our dorms, which are some of the best in the state. The Woods features three residence halls with a classroom, student success center, and designated study spaces. The Quad has four residence halls and the Fit Zone Gym. Each dorm is connected to Northern Lights Dining, and all students can enjoy the relaxing and comfortable common space in the lodge. Athletics are a huge part of life at NMU. With 18 NCAA teams, NMU club sports have gone on to national championships, and intramural athletics are a great way for students to continue playing the sports they grew up with. Wildcats are highly encouraged to join some of our 300 student clubs. They are a great way to find friends, have fun, get involved, and make an impact on our community here at Marquette. Positive impacts are what alumni from Northern Michigan University continue to create around the world. Our graduates have gone on to work for companies like Google, Netflix, NASA, and many professional sports organizations. Wildcats have competed in the Olympics, started companies that have risen to global prominence, made scientific discoveries that have changed the world, and so much more. 
We've got the campus, the classes, and the community. So where will your NMU adventure take you?
were so good. Yeah. Yes, Morgan. That was Kaylin Clark. Um, <laughs> where's your? Are they gonna forfeit?
Northern Michigan University's renovated Jacob Betty Complex opens up this fall semester. This cutting-edge career and engineering tech center houses training programs for many of the state's most in-demand careers. Programs like construction management, industrial maintenance, HVAC, and engineering tech are all found here. It's also home to continuing ed and workforce development, like commercial truck driving. Take your career to the next level in these fresh facilities stocked with the latest equipment. Learn more at nmu.edu.
So where are we at in the season right now? Um, we're kind of just going through conference for the second time, so playing every team again okay. for the second time. We've got Parkside on Thursday, which would be a good matchup, but we're we're sitting in a really good spot conference-wise. It's no, exciting. I know, <laughs> and things are picking up speed. So second time around, does it make it more intellectual the second time around because you're kind of studying, like you know, game tape and sort of learning from your your first matchup? Yeah, I, I would say so. It's yeah. a lot of okay, what did we do well the first time? What did we not do well? And then learning from that, obviously, teams change over the course yep. of a couple of weeks, even so. And then It'll you be, get in the playoffs, and then maybe it's a third time. And then it's yeah, teams. and then it's yeah. you're matching up against a team for the third time, and you're like, well, this could go this could go any way in playoffs, so. Well, I'm excited. I mean, I, I we're in the Barry, uh, which I mean is a, a fantastic place to watch all sorts of uh, all sorts of games. When it fills up for basketball, it's definitely fantastic. Yeah. When there's not as many people here, sometimes early in the season, it's a big arena. But playoff time, I think it's going to be exciting. So we have a shot to host maybe a series. I would say so. Okay. Yeah, fingers right. crossed. If okay. we if we keep doing well like we have been, but yeah. Okay. It's, it's I know exciting. it's too early to tell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So a lot of time and energy uh, uh, on the court, but I also know you're super involved off the court, uh, interested in sustainability mm -hmm. and athletics. So how do those things fit together? They don't come to mind often as like a pair, but tell me about that. Yeah. And you're doing research on that right now yeah. as a grad student, right? Yeah. yeah, so that's what my master's is kind of focusing okay. on right now. Um, sustainability is something that I've always been really interested in since a young age, and obviously basketball too. Yeah. So kind of in my last year here, I'm like, okay, how can I put these two sure. together? And it definitely does cross over. Like there's a lot of things that we as student athletes can do to sure. help make our campus, our community more sustainable and more, yeah. more green, which is, it's exciting. It's, it's fun yeah. to work with different people around campus and try and make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, you know, one thing I think about a little bit, cause I travel a lot in my mm -hmm. job. Um, and I know athletics, I mean, our teams travel all around as well. And so, 
there are some times where I'm kind of sensitive to that. I think, well, you know, I know we're, we're, we're putting a lot out in the atmosphere and sort of there's a big footprint, but I also know there's a lot of good that comes from the competition and sort of everything that, that comes along with athletics. Or for me, if I go to a conference or a meeting, so yeah. it's just, it's more complicated than it seems on the surface. So I'm not surprised a graduate student kind of master's project yeah. can dive into that. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. research that goes into yeah. a lot of stuff that you don't necessarily think about, but it's fun to kind of get into the nitty gritty with yeah. it and, and see everything. I'll, maybe you can share your thesis when it's done oh, for or some sure. of your project. Yeah. Do other players on the team give you a hard time about being a grad student and kind of, you know, pretty serious student or no? They just think I'm old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just call me a, hey, a grandma the sometimes. It just gets worse. Okay, it just <laughs> and gets I'm worse. like, come on, guys, give me a break. But <laughs> yeah. What's been, uh, so, so it's not a lightning round, okay, because I would not do that to you on yeah. camera. But um, what's been kind of the biggest surprise for you? I know. You probably heard about Northern for the first time. I mean, I assume you were a recruited athlete. Mm -hmm. um, and so you knew a little bit coming in, but I'm sure there've been some surprises since you've been here. So like a really great yeah. surprise. And then one thing we're like, whoa, I didn't understand that. And maybe it's something you had to work through as an adjustment. Yeah. Um, honestly, to be com like completely honest, I hadn't really heard that much about the UP in general yeah. before I got yeah, here. So yeah. I think just coming here being completely immersed into the the Uber culture was something oh that gosh. was a little bit to get used to not that Wisconsin is much different in yeah. a lot of ways but that was definitely a surprise for me some things that they do up here I'm like it's pretty Whoa. amazing it's but pretty it's, amazing yeah you see these dark fun. circles in my eyes like part of it is just because I'm old uh, <laughs> and stressed yeah the other part of it is it last night I think um we probably spent like an hour catching up with Fritz you know old time oh, hockey yeah. and uh just like diving deep into which I understand is called Camp Core. Um, it's like a you know like really specific kind of UP culture dive. Mm -hmm. You can never stop learning about that. No. It's been a fun part for me and our family being here for like a year.
thought you could make something. Not one three. Uh, not one three from green. I think they're missing my captain. They miss all of them. Get five. Hey, you just gotta do that. You just gotta do that every time. I don't know if there's any coming back. <laughs> No, but for honor, man. Game on Tuesday, they were like a bunch of varsity players that showed up a lot. Pretty cool.
Northern Michigan University has a rich history in sports, but there was a time where women weren't able to contribute to that winning culture. Even before Title IX was passed into law, it was for the efforts of people like Barb Patrick, who were the sole advocates of bringing women into the world of collegiate sports. At her request, NMU added field hockey to their collection of sports in 1968, therefore establishing the school's first women's varsity team in a time where the thought of that was easily dismissed. Title IX would be signed into law four years later, but the effects were not seen immediately. Reflecting back now after 50 years, it's evident that we don't have a perfect system, but the only thing coaches and athletes at this university and others around the country have to worry about is competing. Title IX to me means opportunity, and for me, my career. The fact that swimming was just always there for me and I've been able to make a career out of the sport that I love is complete opportunity. And I can't imagine not being able to play soccer. I know a lot of the people in the generations that came before me didn't get to, like my relatives, and were acting like women didn't play sports uh, 50 years ago. It's just craziness. For so long, I think women have been trying to get us opportunity to play the sport I love with the people I love at a place I love and, you know, get an education on top of that. To me, Title IX means the equal opportunity to come here and reach my fullest potential as a collegiate athlete. You know, you learn so much from sports, uh, being on a team, leadership, self-confidence, how to work together and how to deal with adversity. And I think everything I've done in my life is, it came from the, the sports, the teams I was on. It's just such a huge, a huge thing to help you in everything you do in the, for the rest of your life. NMU is now home to 234 female athletes across 13 athletic teams. And while field hockey is no longer on that list, their old practice field covered by a sheet of asphalt outside the Barry Event Center, the work that Barb Patrick and so many others put forth for the sake of the student athletes at this university is put on display year round. Come live on and live up.